Welcome or welcome back and I need help at c squared. In this problem we need to solve this radical equation which says square root of x minus 1 equals x minus 7. So in order to solve this problem the first thing you want to do is to eliminate this square root and how you're going to eliminate that is by raising to the second power. But once you did that on the left side you have to do it on the right side so I'm going to do the same for the right side. And then the left side becomes just simply x minus 1. That's the reason we raised to the second power. And the right side becomes x squared. Be careful here, minus 14x plus 49. Okay, if you do not see the shortcut here, you may want to use foil x minus 7 times x minus 7. And this is a quadratic. So in order to solve a quadratic, we need to have 0 on one side. So I will, I, I will subtract x and add 1 on this left side to make a 0 here. Of course, I have to do the same thing here. And that will give me that zero I mentioned. And I have here x squared minus 15x, right? Because we have 14x, negative 14x minus x plus 50. And now here we're looking for two numbers whose product is 50. Factoring will be one way to look to this quadratic and sum is negative 15 That will be negative 10 and negative 5 So the factor form of our problem will be x minus 10 x minus 5 equals 0 We can use now the zero product property and we're going to make each factor equals to 0 x minus 10 equals 0 and x minus 5 equals 0 and if we solve each equation we're going to end up with in this case of x equals 10 and the other case x equals 5. Whenever you finish your problem very important to check your solution to see if they work in your original problem. Just by looking to this 5 5 minus 7 will be negative 2 so I'm kind of sure this one is not going to work when this one will be 5. Another way to look to this problem and check it is using the graphical approach and you notice here I put the, on y1 I put the left side, on y2 I put the right side and then look to the graph. This is an intersection point of these two curves y1 and y2 and if you notice the this guy here is 10 so yeah is this 10 and that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.